Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, I am jumping into Custom Pack to show you just how broken the Lionfish currently is, and that it is in dire need of a nerf. Now in this run, we put together arguably one of the strongest builds in the game. It is so nasty and devastating that even I felt bad playing it, and I love playing snipers. We deal like 200 damage when the Lionfish faints and just wipe out the opposing teams. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, maybe like and subscribe. But with all of that said, let's jump in. And run something like this. We probably should have this one here. Actually, I don't think it's going to make too much difference. Nice. The important thing is that we didn't lose that. That was the important thing because we needed our heart back. Always feels bad when we don't get the heart back. Okay, level into... We take the puppy. Now I'm looking for Salamander. That 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 is what this build is all about. So we can bring you in. And we'll do this. And we'll put you up top. Something... Something like this, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we're running like this. So now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and build up these stats onto this, on the Salamander, and then we're going to frog swap those onto an Egyptian Vulture, because I have a, well, pretty nasty build if I can get it up and running using the Egyptian Vulture and, you guessed it, the Lionfish. So that's what we're going to try and do. But it does mean building stats onto two pretty important pets. So we're going to maybe even try and do Frog Swap twice. Uh, we're just going to have to see what the game gives us. So we're going to get rid of this. Bring in the bat. More salamanders would be nice. Uh, we could get rid of you. Bring in. We could put that on there. Roll. No, roll again. Okay, double bat. That is fine. Put the bat at the top. Put you at the back. Uh, you could do it like this, maybe. Okay. The problem with the salamander is it builds all of its stats on its attack, which is great for lionfish, but not really good for survivability. Um, very often you'll find that you you struggle to win games because you just have such low health. Um, so I'm going to use things like the lasagna, uh, maybe strawberry and say kiwi could, could be an option. So like, I'm going to use the pangolin, so we could do this roll and we can, we can sell you now, bring in this. So then we'll take lasagna and we'll peel the pangolin. So now we've got a 12, 13. And I guess we could just bring in you. Put this up top. Maybe drop this back here. Something like this, maybe. So we pilled the pangolin because basically if you've got a toy in your team, it passes health back to the previous pet. And because we know that the salamander struggles for health, it is actually really nice that we can pass a pretty solid amount of health back. Oh, that's a little unfortunate there, but we do get the draw, which is actually huge. We'll take the draw there. Uh, waiting for you to pop. So let's roll it. We'll get rid of you, bring in this. Pill onto our salamander. Roll. Ah, uh, that is pretty nice, but we're not going to be able to pill you. I mean, it would be nice if we could. But I don't think we're going to be able to pill you. Unless we get super lucky now. We don't. That needed to be a pill. Maybe we can buy sell later. Um, but we'll run it like this. For this turn... For this turn alone, it'll be fine. So we will get the health from the pangolin. And it's actually a pretty good pet to have up front when you've got the moth. Because it's got decent amount of health. As long as it doesn't hit, which is good. We get to take down the pill bug here. So the pangolin has a decent amount of health. So adding the moth buff to it is pretty nice. 
But we do now need to have... Let's add this to you. We do need to get another toy. Monkey is massive. We bring the monkey in. Let's get you up top now. So we need to find a toy and we need to find a pill. There's a pill. No toy. But we will do this. Ah, uh, we don't do this just yet. So the pangolin is going to be useless this time around. In all honesty. There's another pangolin. Another pill. I mean, it's a good amount of health for four. But we do need a toy in the squad. And we just haven't got any toys right now. I will keep it frozen just in case. I'm hoping we've got enough stats here, though. It's not enough. Okay, we're down to three. Three and three. We do get a toy. That is big. We get the level up here. Would have been nice to have waited one more turn, but I feel like... We need to get this locked in. We'll take the garlic. Bring the pangolin to the front. Pill you. Then we'll take crocodile. Because that scales. We'll have another pangolin here. Uh, this time though, the pangolin won't be giving the health to the salamander. Because we've got the monkey. So we need that back here. Um, so we could do something like this. Now I don't know if we're going to be able to build another frog. So I think these stats are just going to have to go straight onto our lionfish, I think. Okay. Have we got enough? We do have enough. So we're going to need to get an Egyptian vulture up here and scale it pretty quickly somehow. Okay, pangolin immediately done. Which is nice. Um, I don't need the... Le I honestly don't need the level up. On here. The Egyptian Vulture would be good. I mean, we could bring this in. It gives us attack stats. Plus, we potentially get the level up. Don't need Frog. Don't need another Salamander. Don't need you either. It's just a roll there. Monkey will take it. And we'll roll one more. Okay. This is fine. It's just one big unit. Then some attacking some attacking units like we'll do 16 damage to the back and actually takes out the two back pets and we just got to hope that we've got enough in the front which we do okay that is five and we do get the level up here the pteranodon is going to be needed but how but I don't think we can bring it in just yet. Let's do this. And we'll take this. I don't think we can bring the Pteranodon in. Um, reason for why is if we bring it in now, then I guess we could sell the crocodile for the lionfish, actually. So I guess we could bring it in. Blobfish, pill, actually really good with the Pteranodon. So if we can find early lionfish, I, I tell you what, the, the moment we're just gearing up for lionfish, I have the Egyptian vulture nowhere to be seen. Okay, not got enough. Not got enough to get through that team. T-Rex is big for us because that is something that we do need. So you come in. In fact, we're going to do we're going to do this. We're going to pill this onto the T-Rex. And it's going to happen twice. And we get another Pteranodon. Which is not really ideal. Um, we'll bring it in though. And we're going to just hopefully roll right now into a Lionfish. Damn. <laughs> we'll hold this in this though. That also important. Okay, lionfish is kind of key here. One of these pteranodons will have to go. Um, yeah, one of the pteranodons will have to go. 
The draw's good. The draw's good. Just keeping our health alive. Now, I don't think they... Monkey, Sauropod, Tiger, Leopard. Yeah, nothing that we really wanted. Um, let's put this onto you. You're going to remain. You're going to go when we find the Lionfish. We'll bring you in and roll. Lionfish right now would be so nice. There it is. It's... We're going to have to wait a turn, though. We're going to have to wait a turn. We're going to have to sell this Pteranodon. In fact, yeah, we, do we sell it or do we keep it? I think we just sell it. Good to see the other team has a lionfish, though. Because we could angle a fish here as well. Okay, we're going to sell this. We're going to buy, sell you. This is where the build comes together. We now swap the stats here. We get a lionfish up top with some protection. Now we roll. Now we don't... I mean, we could bring in monkey, but it's not really what we need. We do sort of need the pteranodon here. Um, we're going to roll and see if we can find what there is. We can bring you in. That's good. And we can roll one more and hopefully find another one. We don't. I would rather have the eagle here, though. Put the eagle behind these. And we're running like this. Okay, so lionfish nearly maxed out, which is pretty nice. We should get some decent snipes from this. It's a pretty stacked team, though. Kind of scary. But the snipes are good. Okay, that is what we wanted to see. That is what we came to see right there. Okay, you're maxed out now. Um, we can sell the eagle. We can buy, sell you. I mean, Egyptian vulture, I don't think we're going to be able to bring it in. Um, because it is nowhere to be seen. Another T-Rex. I guess we'll do it for this turn. And maybe, maybe we just, maybe we're just gonna go for just straight up lionfish pteranodon. I wanted the Egyptian vulture. The Egyptian vulture would have been a nice little setup, but we've just not found it. And it would be a shame to throw what is gonna just be just a nasty looking team right now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, another lionfish. We bring it in. We put this onto you. Uh, I think I'm just going to... I mean, we could buy this. There's a bit of value here. But I'm just going to roll, see if we can find some more Pteranodons. That's going to be nice. Because ultimately, what we'll do is we'll sell the two T-Rexes. And we'll, we'll have two Pteranodons at the back. And I'm hopefully just going to have two Mushrooms that I can put on them as well. That would be, that would be the ideal scenario. Okay, I mean... <laughs> a summon team could beat us <laughs> if they just keep summoning um okay we'll roll okay there's a mushroom i'm i'm tempted to just do this now i'm just gonna sell you i'm gonna bring this in with this because then we're gonna need one more pteranodon and we're gonna replace the t-rex at the back that's the plan we don't quite get the lionfish to three, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. The damage is just going to be pretty disgusting. <laughs> There's three pteranodons, one, one, one. Okay, right. Now we just need one more pteranodon here. Uh, we can hold this. Maybe we find it. Maybe we, we do find it. We bring this in. <laughs> there it is. We'll put this here. We're just one away from the level three lionfish. But the reason I've used mushrooms is just to protect against sniping. I'm hoping just the Pteranodon damage is just enough to take out this team. <laughs> it is. And there it is. I mean, the lionfish is so broken. It is soon to be removed for sure. I mean, I was hoping to get the Egyptian vulture. So the idea was to have the Egyptian vulture knock out a couple of pets and then use the faint ability of the lionfish and then the lionfish to come in. 
But in the end, we never really found it. So we just went with what is possibly one of the nastiest builds in the game right now. And you've just seen a prime example of that against I Am Your Daddy right at the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.